Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reacting to Supergirl Season 4 Episode 15 titled Oh Brother Where Art Thou? The title is a little bit on the nose but we're just gonna overlook that for now. So this week I am more excited for Supergirl than I have been in a long time being that this week's episode is a Lena Luthor centric episode. It is very important to note the ratings for this week's episode and just to see what the difference is between an ordinary episode of Supergirl and a Lena-centric episode of Supergirl. This week is going to be really fun just because we have a Lena-centric episode where Lex Luthor is going to be introduced. Um, not, I mean, I don't really care that much about like Lex as a character as much as I care about Lex as it relates to Lena and her storyline this season. And then also in this episode, we're getting introduced to one James Olsen's sister, probably because he got shot in last week's episode. Um, and she's coming maybe to just like make sure he's okay. Um, and James Olsen's sister is, I think, potentially the love interest for Alex's character in the back half of this season. So I'm very excited on many fronts. This is going to be uh, probably one of my my favorite reactions or my favorite episodes of this season so far. So like I said last week's episode, James Olsen, we left, were left with a cliffhanger where he got shot by somebody we don't know who, and Kara um, was a part of this riot that happened uh, between the anti-alien protesters and the the march for, you know, alien rights. There was a clash there that was escalated by Manchester Black and his team of elite, which we still haven't defeated. They are still playing a role in this season. And as is Ben Lockwood, and I'm tired of it. But basically that's what happened last week. As always, the episode provides us with a very nice recap before we jump into uh, the episode this week. So without any further ado, let's watch episode 15. Lena has not been given her due diligence this season. I will just say that and let's start. Oh, flashback. Please relax. You don't have to do this. What is happening already? I'm stressed out. He is like psychologically torturing her or something. I cannot. I'm doing this. You sound like a freshman philosophy major and you're gonna kill millions of people. <gasps> Even when she's like in the most dire of circumstances, stances, she still has the sass level that I can only hope to achieve. World can't live under a red sun. We as a people have become soft. Did this happen in the first in season? Fact, I can't remember. <laughs> Okay, fine. I see him for what he really was. A false god. Honestly though, like at least he's a good man. Let's talk about Okay. A man. Does he just have like no problem with Supergirl? Is it just like a male thing? Does he just hate Superman, like and the maleness of it? I don't know. Who is the man of tomorrow? Not him! I think there's something Not there. Him. They're gonna thank me. Wow. This is already, I'm way more interested than like every, oh, she's tied to the chair, <laughs> poor baby. I'm already so much more interested in this than I have been in anything in this season so far. I will just say that. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, she's in a black raincoat. A strip, huh? Oh, no. You wanted to see me in person that bad. It's Lex. <laughs> oh, I was like, James was like medevaced to like the hospital. No, it's Lex. I say, sis. Oh my god. Oh my god. James. Oh. James. That's actually really... I, I have a real soft spot for James from like season one. I really, really liked him back then. They call this a mercy. Guess it's still lingering. Your white blood cell plan just stabilized. You're not gonna die today. I won't die tomorrow either if you finish the Haranel serum. Oh, how does he know about that? I'm not risking human lives. What was the point of pulling strings to get your DEO resources if not to test your drug on humans? I didn't ask for that. He pulled strings? And Colonel Haley knew you were behind it. She doesn't. I'm not the one who accidentally poisoned myself with kryptonite in a quixotic attempt to kill an invincible man. And wow. <laughs> I do find the irony that you now need black kryptonite to cure yourself just delicious. Wow, oh my god, Katie, phenomenal acting, first of all. I'm like just so intrigued by this. I'm actually being drawn in because Katie McGrath carries this show on her you damn shoulders. 
Can I have and Mr. Luther? I'm sorry to interrupt. That's okay, but... honey. I'll take a flat white. Ooh. Don't call me Lex. Rude. Here to ride on the cup. It's James. Oh my god. Wow, that was so misogynistic of him, but what did I expect? Oh, you're okay. Oh, thank god you're okay. <laughs> That's the first thing she says when she walks in the room is thank god you're okay. Okay. Wow, they're all there. Look at them hugging. No one else is here. I'm not a visitor. I own this hospital. Little boxes, comrade. I love him. Oh, I love him. He's such like the calm in the storm. All I know. He needs his friends right now. I'll find Magister. This ends today. Yeah, go off. Hunt him down like the badass you are. Oh. 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 Okay. I can roll with that. I'm so sorry this is happening. Your serum could heal him entirely. Oh, this is what's happening. Him. And how is it that every time I've seen you work under pressure, you have done exactly that? Lena, you have all of it. Alex knows what's and up. you have the DEO at your disposal. He's done something terrible. I could sense it. I'm coming with you. Ooh, hey. yes. Where are you going? Oh, awkward. After Manchester Black. Be safe. Car and I can hold down the fort. No, I... Ah! What if something happens? I'll be back soon. Wow. Gosh. Yeah, Alex, maybe you're getting a little suspicious. Maybe she doesn't understand still. It's pretty awkward. What's happening? Hello, Jean. Oh, where'd you get that from? Whatever you poke around in my mind, I can poke around in yours. So Harry Potter Voldemort styles, okay. I get it. It's time you follow the true righteous path. We can put a stop to the hate that's burning this world up just like it burned up ours. Boy, oh boy. We can stop it together. Honestly, Manchester's crazy, but he has made several good points. Sean pushed James away because if he found out about us working together, it would destroy our relationship. <laughs> I don't think you really had that strong of a relationship to start with. And, and now you're asking. And you have more experience working in kryptonite in all its forms than anyone else. So please help me. Yes, yes, yes. You trust me? This is so fun. I love when we focus on Lena. Would you trust me if I did? Teaming up to save Superman's best pal. What would Mother think? I don't know. Probably nothing good. She'd probably just tear Lena down a little bit more, like she always has. I am to blame. Oh, oh, he's like, what are these things coming out of my face? Mr. Olsen is stable. I'm FBI and I have extensive medical training. I'm sorry, without a court order. I'm next of kin. Sorry, I just got off a red eye. I'm Kelly Olsen. She's I'm here. Sister. It's nice to finally meet you. I wish it was under better circumstances. Sparks are flying already. I'd like to see James. Make sure they have access. Oh, so sweet. She have like a military bag? Was she in the army? I tell you how wrong you are, and it drives you to be better. And you call that working together? I don't- I just want to take a moment and ask, like, what prompted her, of all the times that we've ever seen her in professional wear, we've never seen her in a suit, so it probably has something to do with, like, the power dynamic between her and Lex, and, like, how she, like, wants to feel more powerful, aka power suit, aka that's a gay move. You're, you're brilliant. Just you're saying. And defiant. <laughs> oh, well, that's unfortunate. We need some water in here. I kind of, I kind of dig Lex. He's kind of funny. Knock it up like a dog. How dare you? Okay. What the fuck? How dare you talk to Lena like that? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it will kick you in the balls. made kryptonite. And I couldn't do that. Don't be sucked into it. Always, she's always seeking approval from her family members. I understand you wanting to save your dying brother no matter what he did. But now we're giving him full access to everything in order to save Mr. Wilson. But I just want to make sure that you're not going to let your sympathy jeopardize everything that you've been working toward. We love Eve. We stand Eve. We stand Eve. Wow, she's so smart. She, yeah, I get it. I think I know what my brother's capable of. I don't think you can imagine the world without him. Oh, come on. Eve and Lena. Dream team. Eve is really uncomfortable working around Lex, though, I can tell. Whoa, hi. What's going on? He knows not what he does. He's on a government salary. You're quoting literally Jesus? Now. It's your funeral, lady. It's 
speaking of, where is your sister? Whoa. This is like an episode of Grey's freaking anatomy in here. Yeah, let's do the surgery. We'll prep them right away. Shit. There is another option. Ooh, the touching begins. Lena's working with the government. She said that she just needs a few more hours to render the drug non-lethal. Uh, you're proposing uh, that we hold off on James's surgery, risking his life for hours, only to administer a drug that might still kill him? You haven't seen me work. I have watched you do incredible wow. possible things. Alex is a true Lena Stan. <laughs> but I don't know her. I just want what's best for James. So do I. Wow. They're already, like... BPMs now they're already what chemically, the like, going head-to-head, uh, yes. head, you know? Yes, that's right. The chemistry is already going. She would make me stand in a corner and repeat, I do not like myself in perfect lab. You go meet Chimam Placeo. When he became a sociopath. <laughs> wow, Lena speaking Latin like someone to date me. Holy God. Someone administer the Haranel into my brain right now. Uh, I don't know what that would, that wouldn't sedate me, but you know what I mean. BPMs are still a little high. No, the heart's still beating. We've almost got it. Oh god, I, I kinda like Lex. Unfortunately. Alex, where are you exactly? Catco? Because I, I called there and they said that you haven't been there all day. Oh Christ, it's all it's all blowing up in her face. Oh my god. Wow. What a way to bring this back into the story, to be honest. I'm, I'm helping John with a lead. What, what are you gonna do exactly? You gonna interview him? No, it's not. Uh, the operation's about to begin. Good luck with your investigation. Wow. Oh my god. Stop being so rude to each other. On the day they put Ignatius down, she embraced me and sang me this beautiful Irish song. Another Irish Ireland reference. But she wasn't your mother. She was yours. Oh, there she's canon Irish. I love it. I want you to know with certainty that while I came from poison, you came from love. And if the rest of this family stands steadily in darkness, you always fall into the light wow wow lena is canon angel status a goddess look at her jimmy needs you now you're wasting a lot of time telling this story though oh she's so crazy crying i still don't ship lames but i think that was very sweet and she should go help him that was a really nice gesture lex even though you're crazy oh, What the fuck? What? Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like this at all. No thanks. Oh my god. I do not like zombie Alex. Oh my god. That was so stressful. What the fuck? This is a very intense episode. 